Hi guys, another random live stream. Let's see if I can put this in here without doing Let's see how that looks. My junky desk. Looks, look, look at that. As my hands all in the way, guys. I'm sorry. God, it is like the worst thing. I, I literally, I, I really am bad at this. Let's see if I can do this again. Okay. Perfect. That way. Move some stuff off the frame. And that way. Move some stuff off the frame. And mess with my lighting. You know, all of it. Then I need to plug things up. Does things blurry. You know, the messy desk of life. <laughs> my desk is so bad right now, guys. I'm so sorry. That's what happens when you're always kind of, you know, start you start a project and then you finish it later. So there are some sneak peeks on my desk of pro of little videos I'm making soon, but I'm not going to mention anything. And I need to put my phone up because this phone is going to die quickly. See, look at look at this. That one light. I almost need to just give up on using it. Let's see. Perfect. And it's always going to be that perpetual cord in the way, but it's okay. Just moving some things out the way real quick. I hope everybody's doing great. This is what I do before I start videos. I start doing cleaning. You guys didn't see that. Um, I think that's everything I really want to move out the way. What else do you see? Oh, you see all the messiness over there. Just pretend that's not there. Not look at it. Because that's kind of bad, but it's real. <laughs> I don't have a perfect clean desk. But I do want to talk to you guys. I went to Michael's today. Tell me, tell me why. I, I just think for everybody, the accepting comparative coupons thing is just getting crazy. Like how many rules are trying to put in place and everything. Hold. Um, I, I can't even tell you. I cannot even tell you. So, I went to, I've been going to Michael's for a while, and I've been seeing they've been trying their best to add more and more rules. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my uh, set up so I can see all the comments and everything. But they've been adding, you know, more and more rules to the acceptance of comparative coupons for a while. So, I think the first biggest issue with um, them is that they don't want to give you the discount. They really don't. Like, not at all. It's, it's crazy. So I think the first time I experienced it was with the 80% off, I think, uh, what was it? 80% off eight stickers, if you bought eight stickers. And my store didn't give me the 80% off. They gave me 65% off. Oh, you did? I'm glad. You need to make sure you... uh. Linking below to your video and everything so I can see it. Um, I gotta, let's see if I can change this or something. So it uses my data. I really don't want it to use my data. Oh, that's why it's trying to do too much stuff at one time. It's trying to download things and everything. But yeah, you need to show me your video. I really want to see your video how. Um, Everything you got to you and how you're enjoying it. But 
So I went today and I used a 60% coupon from Joann's to get this thing. And then I used a 20% off Michael coupon to get this pad. It was $6. Uh, and I got it a little cheaper. Where is my receipt? It's a good thing to know the prices, the exact prices. But the people told me, they're like, oh, you can't do that. We don't allow, we don't allow you to use our coupon and competitor coupons on the same purchase. It's one of our new rules or something. And I was like, really? Why? I mean, it's a coupon. And mostly, like, Michael's coupons aren't the best. All right, so, like, right here. I got this paper pad for, and then it took off another 20. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm sorry, guys. I switched over to using my data because it wasn't working on this Wi-Fi. So I hope you guys didn't mind that this Wi-Fi sucks so badly. Okay, back to what I was saying though. So I got this paper pad for $4.80 with the 20% off. It was originally $6. And then I got this one is $13.99. My 60% off coupon took out $8.39 plus my 20% off. Plus, my 20% off your entire purchase took off another dollar and 12 cents. So, I ended up paying $4.48 for this baby, which is a banging deal. So, I saved $24.70 just on these two items alone. I would have paid about $20 something for this thing. It's crazy price point. Okay, I was curious about this baby because I saw Cherish Treasures show this and um, when she did a video about all the new Davenport items. And this was the only thing I really wanted out of her entire collection. Everything else was kind of pricey and I really don't need more acrylic paint. So I want to try this. And of course, I got this hair pad because it's cute. It's cheaper than the Santa baby collection and it I like the colors, and I've been seeing people do some really cute crafts with this, so if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to flip through it real quick so you get to see kind of it. So you get to see kind of it. But it's really pretty. I think I'm going to turn the light on. Yeah, because my, my camera's not focusing. That's why. Hold on. Let me turn the light on. See, that helps. Like 20,000 lights on. I don't know. What was I on? I don't know what page I was on. I do too. It's so pretty. I was tempted to get another paper pad too, but I decided to just do this one. Yeah, I'm like just blowing things off my desk. Okay. I don't know what page I stopped off at, but you get the gist, you know. I think the pages are so pretty. But I'm going to do some cute projects with that. I hope my camera is focusing. All right, so we're gonna get down to nitty gritty and open this baby up. So it comes with this little container, a um, little plastic storage container. And they had two of these. They had the uh, colorful one, and then this is like the skin tone one. I got this one because I made a video like several years back on my Crayola Slick Sticks. And this comes with every color in the rainbow, so I don't want to get another one of rainbow colors because it's not necessary. And then I have these, which are paint sticks. This is, is from Dollar General. And uh, they're really cute, really nice. I like them. The pack of Crayola Slick Sticks, I think I paid $7 for 12 colors. And these Art Skill paint sticks, I paid $3 at, for six colors, I think, or 
yeah six dollars i made a video about it i'm pretty sure so i got this one more skin tones it comes with this little swatch book of her face and then you get a little area to put your swatches on so you have colors called flutter gray matter deep vein um, eccentric pot or pout french kiss pucker up high brow magnetic field wink rice paper moon kiss that's all the colors and then they say it on here for you so that's the containers look like like a lipstick container you open it up it looks basically like this <laughs> but <laughs> it literally looks just like this look this uh paint stick no severe difference so basically kind of reminds you of lipstick on the bottom it has I don't know if you'll be able to see that like a paw print or something like that I don't know so um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put my swatches on here I'll just try it because it's not the paper I use and a lot of times they recommend you put your swatches on the paper you normally use for mixed media so you know I'm gonna have to do a project with this so this is their black Right. And I'm blending it out a little bit. It does smear a good bit. Oh, I should have brought my rag with me. One of my rags off my desk. Oh, I got one. So I smeared that out. I'm just going to leave the paper. Wait, let me just do a side that just has it concentrated like that. Okay. So that's Flutter. Let me bring that up for you guys so you can see that. Just a nice black. It's very creamy and it blends out into like a nice smoky gray color. All right, so we have gray matter. So I'm gonna do it over here and then I'll keep one of these out. So let's see. All right, and I'll bring that up for you to see that. This paper is very smooth, so it does help these uh, gel sticks blend. So I got Deep Vein. Eccentric. Smear this out. I don't know. Right now, I'm not really being like blown away by the colors. Like they're pretty. I'm a I'm going to compare these to some other colors over here. They're pretty and they're really smooth and creamy, but I'm not being like, oh, so gorgeous. They're, they're pretty and they're really smooth. I'm, I'm going to tell you, they are very creamy, but we're going to do some tests. Make sure my finger is dry. Hope my finger wasn't too wet. Oopsie. So let's do that one. And this one is Pout. All right, and we have French Kiss. So I'll bring this one up. Hmm. Let's show you guys this one. Do you see so far? There, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Let's see. Let's see. We got Pucker Up. Oh, this one's really creamy. Like I was pushing down, and it's it's very creamy colors. 
Oh, wow. That is super creamy. Okay. I'm excited about these browns. That's the reason I got this one. It's because it looked like it had more skin colors that I could use to make um, faces and stuff that my other ones, like my slick sticks and my paint sticks, don't offer. That's a nice brown. And this is highbrow. So let me show you these two. All right. We're going to do magnetic field. I don't I don't understand what that. Let's see. It's a dark brown. I don't I don't get that. Like the name. I don't get this name. <laughs> magnetic field. It's not as creamy as that red. That red was creamy. That formula for that red it is it's butter. Like you left like you're smearing room temperature butter <laughs> on your uh paper. It's it's really creamy. Okay going like this one's really creamy it's like almost every other color it's creamy but they're not all the same creaminess so I'll bring that up I'm liking these browns so far I'm excited and for four dollars guys if you're near Michaels run out to your nearest Michaels and get this um, before the Joann's coupon expires okay like bad like, it's like a bad thought but normally i just show people the coupon i don't show them like the expiration date like because sometimes with joann's they don't show you the actual coupon unless you download their app which i don't have any store app but i wonder if you could try to use it like sunday because <laughs> i don't know <laughs> just like screenshot the coupon bring it in sunday and use it i don't know it's up to you, but four dollars is not bad. Oh, well, you do need the twenty percent off coupon too. So, you might it will be like five, like close to six dollars. Well, six dollars is not too bad for this. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve colors. That's about how much I paid for my Crayola slick sticks. So here are the colors. I just did down a uh, rice paper and moon kiss. So okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, this is some good. This is a good color palette for skin tones. It's a really good color palette for skin tones. Um, that's the biggest reason I got this. Biggest, kind of the only reason. And I was curious, you know, curiosity kills the cat. But they're nice colors. Uh, Alright, so we'll do some comparisons. I'm going to pull out, I think this purple is closer to this one. So I'm going to pull up Eccentric and then this purple color from Paint Stick and then Let's see other colors I have. My black. I'm going to do black over here. And then uh, da, 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 what other colors do I have? Brown. I think this brown is closer to ooh, this brown. I don't remember what brown this is closest to. We'll see. And I'm going to use some. No, this is just random. Wait, let me get my Georgia specific cardstock. That's the one I normally use. Okay. And I'm really sorry if you can hear my fan. Hold on. Let me see if you guys can hear my fan. Sorry about that, but I just got back from shopping. I'm hot. <laughs> okay, so let's do this test. We're going to go through and just see. And I'm going to do some markers. Of course, this won't be straight. I'm not going to make it straight. Because I don't have time for all that. And wait, so oh, let me just do this way. Yeah, that's what I said. I think it's some great browns. Definitely. The skin tones are just, I think it's my favorite thing out of this entire palette here. So gesso, no gesso. Um, what else we do? 
I'll do the stencil technique where you take it up and stuff. Uh, and uh, let's see. I know what else I want to do. Blendability. I'll see if I, I'll see if they blend. How will they blend? And we'll try it out. Okay. Let's go uh gesso, gesso, gesso. Do I have my gesso near me? I do. Yeah, you, you know, I make my own gesso. <laughs> this is a let's just find something. I have to stir this every time I use it because it settles. But I'm telling you guys, like in a couple of months, Michael's is gonna have this long list of rules on how you can use competitor coupons because right now it's getting it's, it's weird. I'm like, how can I not use these two coupons or two different coupons? They should be able to do it. It's like I don't want to use a 40% off coupon because that's not gonna give me a good deal. And I've done it before. I've used like two different coupons. Well, no, wait, I'm trying to think. No, I think normally I use a coupon and I use a military card to get myself a good deal. I mean, if I, even if I wasn't allowed to use that 20% off, I would use my military and get 15% off. 15 off. So, I'm not like upset or nothing, but I still think it's a little bit annoying, inconvenient. Because <laughs> I've heard so many stories, like he told me too that they don't accept, not accept, but uh, there was a coupon that came out and it was like, if you spend $50, you can, you get $25 off and they wouldn't honor that coupon. I don't know. I'm telling you, like, Joann's has some of the best coupons, but my Joann's is so tiny that I just, I can't go there and actually use any of their coupons. So, I was happy that Michael's accepted them because at least Michael's actually has things in stock and it's a decent sized store. I think the nearest Joann's that's somewhat decent size, I, I'm actually pretty big, I think it's bigger than my Michael's, is about 30 minutes away from me. And there's nothing really over there besides like a Walmart and a bunch of restaurants. So I don't really don't go that side of town. It's pretty far. Okay, let's see. Take this card stuff off. Moving on. Did I have the thing plugged up or did I unplug it? I was going to get my... I think I unplugged it. Let's see. Yeah, I did. I was going to see if my heat tool was plugged up, but it's not. Because I'm pretty sure I unplugged it to plug up something else. Okay, let's see. What do we have plugged up over here anyways? My charger. What is that white cord? Go to. I really need to get my... Plug. What is this one go to? Uh, oh, I think it was my not important right here. Great. All right. Let's just dry this off real quick. I think this is my second, third week. Of these random just spur of the moment live streams. Hope you guys are having a great day, night, evening, morning. Okay. Oops. Let's see. I'm going to put down different colors. So I guess we're going to compare. I'm pretty sure the black is going to be the same. So I'm going to do the purples, two purples, and my two. So I'm going to compare the purple to the paint stick, the brown to the Crayola slick sticks. Because, wait, do I have another purple? I mean, I do have another purple, but I don't know if it's by me. So we'll just do this one and see. All right. 
let's do the on gesso. I, I feel these things are so pretty though. They look so pretty. And then I'm going to do this one. I've used this several times. It's, oh, it's drying out. Oh no. Yeah, close as purples. I must, I'm going to tell you that the paint sticks do apply more like, kind of like paint in a sense. That's kind of what they call paint sticks, I guess, you know. But they just, they seem more wet. That's the thing. This one applies, the uh, diving port ones apply like you are smearing lipstick on paper. And the paint sticks apply like you're doing paint. So I'm going to put JP and then PT so I know what I'm dealing with. Okay, let's see how they blend. Wet my brush up, and of course, what to expect? They blend out really well. But this is gesso on gesso. Let's clean that up. Where did I put my, my thing at? I don't know why my camera keeps doing that. Like, it won't stop trying my phone. Let me use my phone. Okay, let's see. That was a really wet brush, but. And they blend out. I don't think they wouldn't. <laughs> all right. So the, the lines I did are all gone. No issues. So I'm going to show you. Up close. As you can see. So they both blend out. No marks or nothing. I don't know if you can see that the paint sticks are a little more wet. That's weird. Okay. On je no gesso. So put them down. And no gesso. But they're really dry when they put them down. All right. See, not too much water. And see how it goes. And of course, they soak into the paper pretty quickly, so they're not moving. This one's not moving. Let's see how the paint sticks go. I need water. Same thing. No, I feel like it's less noticeable though. With the paint sticks, it kind of blends out a little better. I don't know. See that? So there's not, you can see the lines here. You don't really see any lines here. Okay. Now we're going to see. I'm gonna do blending, I said. How they blend, like two different colors. So let me get the container. I'm gonna do, what colors do I have in here? I should do random colors. So I'll do this one. And this one is the Kiss. I'll do the blending. I'm gonna get myself a stencil. So let's put the color down. Put this down. Closer than that, but whatever. Let's see how well they blend together. We're just my fingers. Not on gesso, of course. Of course, I had to drop something. Let's do my paint sticks. I'm fine. Like, I should I have a color? I can use some. I guess I got blue. So let's just do blue. Where'd it go? Did this thing fall out? I don't know. Wait, did it fall out? Because there's nothing in here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I bet you it fell out. <laughs> Where'd it go? I lost it. I can't do a comparison with these two colors if I don't have any product. Oh my gosh. These are a little bit older, but still. Yep, guys, it's gone. I don't know where it's at. It had to fall out. Okay, because I have to throw that color away. Wait, hold on. It's stuck in the lid. There you go. I found it, guys. I found it. Still gonna throw it away though, because that's not useful. It's literally stuck in. Gosh. All right. That's a fail. 
and I got like everywhere else. Okay, I gotta find two other colors to blend though. I'll just have to blend this yellow and blue then. I don't know if it's gonna blend since it's had time to dry. So I'll try it over here. Yellow, blue. Let's see how they blend. Okay, that's interesting. Fun. Let me zoom up. I feel like the the uh, diamond parts. You see how they blended? I think I think it's because they're so dry. I told you the paint sticks are much wetter, so they don't blend the same. These blend a little better. This is the one I did. That's from dry. So over here, it blended blended way better. This one not so much. It's still kind of harsh line. So that's interesting. All right, let's see if I can do the stencil technique. I need to find myself a stencil. Let's see. My stencil book is over there. Where's my stencil book? I don't have. Oh, I do have stencils next to me. Never mind. Here you go. These stencils are from AliExpress. All right, so I'm gonna do it on the gesso. Let's have time to, I guess you can say, dry. So I'm just gonna wet rag and see if I can peel it up and see what happens. Okay, I have these different sides, but you see, it's it's coming up really well, even on the part on the gesso. This is on gesso. I bet you I can get it cleaner than that, but I'm just going to see. I'm going to do the wider side. Get that water under the stencil, sadly. So we can line these holes back up. No. I don't know what holes did I use. Yeah, I couldn't look like that quick. It's coming up really well. You can see that? So, on gesso. So, I'm going to do it on no gesso, the stencil technique, and see what happens. I'm sorry, I can't compare the same purple to purple. Sorry guys, but see how well it comes up. And I'm about to use a blue color because <laughs> my purple is gone. Right? Do the same thing, you know. I think pretty much. So, right now, I would say the first it worked the best on gesso. It's just kind of obvious. Um, they don't blend well off of gesso. The sensor technique is about the same. If you don't do it on gesso, it's not gonna go to a white color, but it's whatever. And of course, if you do any like trying to smear them out without gesso, you will see the lines, which it's fine. They are like a lipstick, but I do want to test out one thing that I didn't put on here, and that's drying it. My paint sticks don't do this, but my Crayola slick sticks do this, that if you heat set them, you are making them permanent. So, I'm going to have to put it on a different piece. Let's see. I mean, I can try to do this one, this piece right here, so I'll try that one. So, I'm going to use this heat tool. Heat them up and see if it would uh, keep it. So I'm make sure the paper is really hot. Okay. 
It was really, really hot. I'm gonna get a brush and see if it will kind of like once it gets like really dry, will it keep blending with water or will it be permanent? So I just wetted it and it is permanent. So once it is heat set or once it completely dries, it does not bleed really anymore. It doesn't react to water. So it has a good similar pro um similar pretty similar to distress crayons in that sense. My Crayola six sticks do that too. They won't bleed much. You see how it doesn't really bleed that much? But I mean you can kind of tell that too with over here once it kind of dries and sets, it's not moving really anymore. So that's everything. I know my, my paint sticks don't do that. Alright, so hmm. Right now I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. So I did that all on, this is Georgia Pacific paper. That's 110 pound paper. I'm going to go and work on this paint paper from Walmart. And I'm going to do, we're going to see how well it does trying to make a face. So I know right now I'm better off using gesso because that's the best. It works best on gesso than anything else. Unless you're like going to smear it as soon as you put it down. So it does have, I think it's really similar to that uh, distress crayons because as I think the video is shown with distress crayons, you know, if you're going to smear it, you want to smear it as soon as you put it down. You don't want to wait too long because it starts to dry. So I'm going to put some a little thin layer of my homemade gesso down. I'm actually getting pretty low on this stuff. Surprisingly, I haven't really done too much art journaling in a while. I'm gonna draw this. I think I really want to make uh this year I really want to make a video about my favorite supplies and tools and stuff. I've always watched people who make those videos and I think they're so interesting and entertaining. So I think I'm gonna make one this year myself. Let's see how that goes. It's going to be a bunch of like my homemade supplies in there too. <laughs> of course. What else? Okay. I think that's good enough. I'm just going to draw a face on here. I'll just wrap it up. I didn't have to. I didn't have like a long Thing I want to do is want to test them out, kind of my initial reaction. But so far, I do like them. But sadly, I realized I can't do live streams on my Wi Fi because Google tells me, oh, YouTube tells me that I have a very horrible connection. It's going to cause a lot of buffering and uh, loading problems. We'll see what happens. I should try before I start doing anything. So I'm just going to do a face because I think this leans itself better to doing faces than really anything else. I don't know, I missed a spot. We'll see. Let's go on. We're going to move into the drawing part, which might be hard for you guys to see because I'm going to be drawing in pencil first. Let's see if I can find a pencil. <laughs> Where are my pencils? I do have some mechanical pencils over here. All right. I should. I mean, you can just use a pen. But I don't, I didn't want it to be permanent. I want to have some fun sketching first. Because I'm. Um, 
gelatos? I would say yes, they are. They are very similar. They're just basically another gelato, but I feel like in a sense they are closer to distress cr crayons because they are kind of permanent once they dry. But I feel like they're all a similar thing. I don't know. Am I the only one? I kind of want more products to come out, like different products. I think everybody has released released their own version of like gelatos and distress crayons and whatever else. Oh, I found a pencil, guys. Yay. <laughs> it has lead in it. Okay. I can't draw straight, so sorry. See how this one turns out. We're gonna just do. I don't do. Let me wait, wait, wait. Whatever's gonna be messy, but. I like that too. That's why I liked my us. Uh, Crayola slick sticks because once they you know really dry, they didn't move that much, which is really awesome. Okay, this face is gonna be super wonky, but we're gonna have fun with it. <laughs> See, that's why I kind of want more. I really want more products to come out, just different ones, not the same, like, oh, let's get a water-soluble crayon, because they're kind of all similar. I think the only thing with the distress crayons and gelatos is you can't really stamp with distress crayons. So that's really, like, besides that, there's really not much of a difference, which to me, I kind of don't like that, you know, they're all pretty much the same. And I have not drawn a face in so long that this is going to be really fun. I used to draw all the time. I don't draw as much as I used to. Oh, I could have done a, um, nah. So I could have done like a go. See, exactly, exactly, exactly. I don't want, I just, I really don't. This, that's what I said before, the only reason I got this is because it had browns and more skin colors the distress um not the stress sorry my crayola slick sticks and my paint sticks don't have skin colors yeah i like that too though said so they don't they really don't move much so let's see we're gonna do we're gonna try to do like a So I was going to do, try to do like a witch or something. <laughs> we'll see what I do. Well, I might change them on up. Because like what? Uh, I don't know. We're just going to have a weird girl. She's so not even. <laughs> I kind of want to start over, but I'm not going to. I want to change her lips though. You guys can't really see her that well. Which is good because she was looking kind of wonky. I'm gonna go over again and show you guys so you can see her better because you really can't see her. Sorry. It said the same thing again. Wonky lips. Whatever, she's gonna be uh, a monster then. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, put them over here. 
Because, like, who, who, let's see what color I'm going to do. Oh, let's do different weird colors. Because she's, she's going to be like a, uh, I don't know. Let's just do patches of colors on her skin. So that would be brown over here. I'll do brown over here. Thank you. Um, what is, is it, does it have a name to it? It's called Color Stick Silky Skin. And thank you. Um, that's the one I have. Because the two, uh, the other one is the colorful one. It's really obvious. The other one has like a bunch of like the rainbow colors on it. So you'll see that this one is mostly browns. Because I, I looked at her collection. I was like, yeah, interesting. Yeah, I like it. So I, I like I like these, though. I'm happy I can have another, like, more portable medium to draw. Yeah, silky skin set. Yep, yeah, that's it. Let's add in some purple to her. Whatever you want to do. And I'll do the dark purple. Make my uh, creature. <laughs> yeah, I even adjust it right now. They're, they're kind of setting a little bit. But it's okay. Like, I'm not going to be able to really get rid of all the lines on here, but. The last really cool thing that came out was the Distress Oxides. New, innovative, something different. I don't know. I'm glad that the, all the Distress Oxides are out now so I can go finish up all the colors I want to get. So I'm, I have a little bit, is it the right color? Yeah, that's the right color. I have my list of all the colors I want to get. I'm just going to get them all at once, or roughly. I bought most of my colors in sets that they came in, like the, uh, the release set, I guess. So, but the last couple of releases, there's just too much uh, like browns and greens. And I really don't use, like, too many of those colors in my day-to-day -day crafting endeavors. I'm gonna have to. I think I have to go to print marker or something. Is after I'm done. Who has the best price on these? I don't know. I think I'm pretty sure aren't they exclusive to um doesn't she have an exclusive range with Michaels? I thought they're only at Michaels. But I'll tell you, uh if you want the best price, okay. Are you in the States or are you in international? I think it depends. I don't know. I I haven't looked at anyone else. I have to look around, but I'm telling you, I got these, they're $13.99 at Michael's, and I used a 6% off coupon from Joanne, so I got them. Um, and I used a 20% off your entire purchase, so I got them for $4. You don't have any stress oxides that seem too close to one another. I highly use those, but I, I do love this color range. See, I didn't really get into um the, the distress line until, like, the stress oxides came out, because I just didn't really... Um, like 
the I'm gonna say that, I didn't like the line. I didn't like the product. I, I think it was uh what was it? I like the color. I like the color scheme, the color range. I think it's really pretty. But um, oh here it is. I bought one of his distress ink pads. And uh, I didn't like it because I tried to stamp with it. And I didn't realize you're not supposed to be like stamp stamp with it. You're supposed to do like techniques with it. Uh, they don't have those all. Oh, is that only at select stores? Oh, so I really don't. Huh. Of course, you know. If you buy it online, you couldn't use them, the other coupons and stuff, which kind of sucks. You have to use Michael's coupons, which. Yeah, see, I only use them for like watercolor and stuff, I'm, but I'm like, I already got <laughs> more watercolor supplies. So I'm like, I don't really need. Um, I think I just got them kind of because for the colors. I love the colors. I've never tried. Wait, no, I recently tried a Carvel ink. I just tried it. I, like, I never tried a car, but I did. I just recently bought it because I see everybody talk about it. I was like, what's so amazing about it? I want to try it. But they're kind of pricey. So I didn't get it until like recently. I had a coupon. Oh, yeah, the order online. I had to look into that because I I didn't. I just saw them in person. I was like, oh, I'm curious. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to give her. I don't know what kind of hair I want to give her. Pink hair, black hair. See, but all I have is his mini ones. I didn't because they're too expensive. And the reason I got more of these colors was because of stress oxide. And I bought them on joyans.com because they were a dollar thirty or something like that, a dollar twenty a couple a year or so ago. I did a haul on it on my channel, and then I I bought those then. But they're too they're kind of pricey. Let's see if I can fix these lips. But I've been in love with the, the cracked pistachio since I first saw it. So I was like, I want to try one color. But the first color I ever tried was the vintage photo. That's the first color I ever got from Tim Holtz. What color eye should I give her? I'm trying to think. I wonder if Blitzy might have good prices on this collection. You can look into Blitzy. Do they ship enough? You can look into Blitzy. I think because Blitzy has really good prices and they have good sales too. Okay, let's see. What we're gonna do for her hair. I don't know. His lilac color, what the shaded lilac, I have like right here next to my desk when I was using it in that video. <laughs> Trust me, I can't remember all those names either. I was struggling on my voiceover for the uh, mixed media tag. I was like, um, what color was this again? I don't know, might be that color. Let's see, see, let's see. Nothing new. I just do black here. If I can find my black, yeah, put it here. I'm telling you, I don't know how people remember all these names to his colors because that's a lot of colors. He has 60. 61 if you include like that white color picket fence, I think is the name. It's a lot of colors. I'm just like, <laughs> just having too much fun over here. I don't know where I'm gonna put her. I think I'm gonna go back over and 
highlight her features when I'm when they're dry and everything. But I'm telling you, I'm excited for the holiday season. This is like the first time I'm really going to do much um, in it because I don't really do a lot of holiday crafts, but I'm going to try to do, I mean, I have ideas. I just don't really do them because uh, it's like an old habit of mine. When I first started crafting, I was in high school, so I didn't have a job for the longest time. So seasonal crafting was pretty expensive for me, you know, no job and all. <laughs> so I just didn't do it. I just kept the same colors. And uh, recently I was like, you know what, let me try it. I had all these ideas. I should uh, at least do something, a little something. At least not inspire my somebody else, some you know something. But oh, I do want to make something from this collection though. One of her, what's it? What she call it? I forgot what she called it. Uh, it's one of her. Oh my gosh, I don't know the name of it anymore. What does she call it? Is it a paint stick? I don't remember. What does she call it? It's it almost looks like um eyeliner, like an eyeliner stick. I forgot the name of it, but I forgot what she calls it. I kinda wanna make that, like do a DIY on how to make it. You don't do any holiday crafting either. Yeah, I just I don't know. I get so tempted sometimes. Is it the pastel sticks? They look like an eyeliner. Con they, they're looking like a what? They're in an eyeliner container. I think it might be that. I don't remember exactly. Whatever it was, I can't remember. I kind of want to make something like that because I've seen like empty eyeliner containers before. But let's we'll see what I make. But I do want to make something inspired by this collection. Okay, I don't have any colors for her eyes, so I'm going to just pull in some of my colors from something else. All right, so I'm going to do uh, green would be it. And I'll just put that in. Oh, you're part of her Facebook group? Yeah, the sharp in them. That's interesting. I don't know if I would want to. Mm, mm, that's. Uh, that's interesting. See, I don't even go on Facebook like at all. <laughs> I try to be part of groups, but I don't go on Facebook. Uh, interesting. I'm trying to see how how would I do it though. Because, like, yes, if you've seen the video, I've made my own, like, gelatos before. This is the container. And they're really, they're very smooth and very creamy. I like them. I don't know. I was going to do that or I was going to do, like, a watercolor. What was it going to be? Watercolor? Or, like, a paint brush pen or something like that. But I don't know if I was going to do a watercolor or was it going to be just... I think I was going to do watercolor paint pen or something like that, basically. Sums it up. A paint pen you can refill. Somebody is texting me, and I don't know who it is. I need to check that. All right, bye. Have a great night or day, evening. I do need to link that video. Oh, uh, if you can watch the replay, I'll have it linked in the description of the of the replay. All right, let me 
Let's see. So I'll do that as soon as I get off of here. Yep, here it is. Acrylic block. Let's see if this will work. No, it's not dark enough. That was a good idea, though. It's not dark enough, though. All right, let's see. I have to use a marker or something. Let's see if I can find a marker to use on my desk. Did it. Permanent marker? Do I have a permanent marker over here? What is this one? That's a gray color. Hmm. Hmm. Just throw that thing. No, oh, that's not it. Let's see. All in the frame, guys. I think I was. Maybe. Uh, I'm trying to find a marker that I could use. I don't care if it gets messed up. If it gets messed up. Tear these random. Spare the moment. Oh, I got this pen. I'll use this pen. It's like an ultra pen. I got this from a I can't really write on something. Okay. I'm gonna clog up my pen. Yeah, this pen won't let me do that. Mm, let's see. What else do I have that I could use? Do I have ink that I could use? Something I can use. This is the uh, Dollar Roni ink. It's their FW acrylic ink. Alright, great. Alright, I'm just gonna finish up the face and then uh, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm using, I am using my data to do this because my Wi Fi sucks. But uh, let's, let's not talk about that. So I'm going to use all my calligraphy brushes. And sorry about me getting quiet. I always like concentrate when I'm doing this. <laughs> Make sure I'm straight too. I want to see what you guys, if you guys make this or if you guys are interested in this, like tell me below. Um, what do you guys think? And uh, Out there, and do you agree about, you know, the not being a lot of, I guess like new products coming out? Like there's new packaging, but like new products. What do you guys think? I mean, like, uh, not like stamps and ink pads and stuff, but like actual, like, a uh, I want to say you could say mixed media product pro products. Gosh, no, I made her lips. I would fix that. Okay. All right, let's see if I can find where I do her nose at. Hee <laughs> hee. I really can't, I don't know, I can't really write on this with a pen. Especially when it, where it's really concentrated and stuff.
do, 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 do. And we're almost done. I'm just going to go back over her eyes so it's a little bit darker. Give her eyelashes. And then we can wrap this up. Oh, you're a newbie? I should make I make more videos about mixed media and stuff. It's really fun. I like it. And I think it's more freeing. I used to uh, do most of the acrylic painting and stuff. And I kind of switched over to mixed media because I feel like it's less pressure. And it helps you to just like, hmm, you know, whatever. You all make mistakes, you know. Just to keep going. See how it goes. I will make more videos about mixed media and different products like this. That's why I wanted to make this video real quick. I think that's all I'm really going to do. I just think ain't too crazy on her. I really didn't do her neck either, but it's okay. I think she looks okay. <laughs> but uh, tell me what. Okay, I will. I love making my own journals. They're so much fun. But I did learn something new, though, about <laughs> when I send you your giveaway package. I did not know the Virgin Islands were within the uh, United States Postal Service. I didn't. I was like, what? Learn not something something really new every, every day. But I did send you one kind of like a, I don't say mixed media supply, but can be used for mixed media. Those uh, glitter inks that I sent you. I totally forgot to mention them in the video. My giveaway video. But you can use those. I have several videos about those. I love those inks that I made. They're so shiny. Alright. I'm going to just wrap that up. This up. That's all we want to do. Let me just look at her face to face and see how <laughs> funny her skin tone is. You can see her. Wait, let me see her first. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so I think she turned out pretty cute. Just on the fly, sketching, drawing. Now clean this up. I have a video. I got some new blending tools. I'm going to make a video about that pretty soon. Um, and you see that. Oh yeah, because when I saw your address, I was like, wait, no, I thought I said no international. Um, not yet. I, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a different giveaway for that. Like, if you didn't tell me, I was like, oh no. But yeah, that's, that's really cool. So much you don't know about like what the U.S territory is but um 
And that's everything. I'm going to clean this up somewhat and move on to my next project. I'm going to try to do some organization today. I have two rags cog that are completely filled with stuff and it's just really a mess. So I'm really going to go and organize those babies and charge my phone. I'm pretty sure my phone is really warm right now. Yep, it is hot from using my data. And I will talk to you guys all later. Much love. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you got some inspiration. Maybe you want to get these yourself or try them out. I do think they're pretty cool. And this this set, I think, is my favorite out of the other sets because the skin tones really make this. And if you do have um, a way of getting a Michaels or something or getting a coupon to get these, no problem, no problem. Maybe you have a crafty friend in the States who couldn't <laughs> buy these for you and send them to you or something. Yeah, have fun. Much love, guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah, take care. Hugs, kisses, and get crafty. Don't forget. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>